Hello everybody, what's up? In this video, I will be cleaning and upgrading my friend's PC. He's been having temperature problems with his PC in the past few weeks, and it's actually shutting down when it reaches a certain temperature. Let's see if we can fix this problem. When I was playing with my friend some um, game of Raft and Fortnite, he will suddenly disconnect from the game, his screen will suddenly turn black, and the fans and RGB are still on, though the screen never turns on again. So he is forced to hard turn off the computer by pressing down the power button. He's been having this problem for a while, he's also experiencing really slow boot ups and slow PC responsiveness in general. So I asked him for his computer specs and this is what we are able to gather. For the CPU, he has a Ryzen 5 1600, the first 6 core 12 threaded processor that was actually affordable back in 2017. For the CPU cooler, he has the Rate Spire with an RGB ring, Gigabyte AB350 gaming for the motherboard, 24GB of DDR4 RAM. It's actually two pair of different DIMMs. At first, he had Corsair's 2400 MHz, 2x4GB, totaling 8GB of RAM. Then, there was sale of the Crucial Ballistics RGB 3000 MHz, 2x8GB, totaling 16GB of RAM. He bought it and decided to pair it up with his old RAM. For the GPU, he has the Asus Dual GTX 1063GB. This is actually the GTX 1063GB I reviewed back in 2021. So if you are interested on in seeing how it performs, link down in the description. For storage, he has 240GB of SSD from SanDisk where he stores his OS and important applications. Then 1TB hard drive for the rest. This could be the reason of the slowing down of his PC. Only having 240GB of SSD is not enough, especially if you have games and operating system and all other applications. He is forced to use the hard disk for his other stuff, so that's probably why it's been lagging quite a bit. Then, for the power supply, he has the Corsair V550. The case was his love at first sight. When he saw the NZXT 450 Noctis, he fell in love with it, and still love it to this day. It is a pretty well built case, I just hope they use tempered glass on the side panel instead of the acrylic. So, after seeing all the specs, his problem with his PC shutting down could be because it's too dusty. The heatsink is probably clogged by the dust, and it's not having enough airflow to call off the components. A clean will suffice. It should fix the PC turning off problem. Then, for the PC that is lagging, I recommend him to buy another SSD. And he actually bought a 1TB SSD from Crucial, and it's the MX500. It has a DRAM cache, so it helps with the day to day speeds and longevity of the SSD. This will definitely eliminate all the lag he's having on his computer. After all that being said, it's time to work on his computer and see what we have in front of us. Taking the sign file off, we're greeted with dust. A lot of dust. The fans are clogged, the motherboard is dusty, the RAM, and also the graphics card. Let's remove the other side panel. Then, let's pop the front panel as well. Oh my god, how is this PC even breathing? Just take a look at all of this dust. Then, let's remove the GPU by unplugging it and removing the two screws holding it. Then, it's time to remove all the fans. Take a look at all of those cables. Rebuilding this PC will be a little bit of a pain, but it will be worth it. Let's also remove the drives while we're at it. Then, let's finish up removing all the fans. After that, let's remove the motherboard. 
Then, let's disassemble it by removing the RAMs and disconnecting this cable and unscrewing the screws for the CPU cooler. After removing the cooler, we can proceed on cleaning the CPU with a paper towel and some alcohol. And also some cotton buds. After cleaning the CPU, we can brush off the rest of the motherboard. Then, we can clean the RAMs. Also, rub them with a little bit of alcohol. Then, let's tackle the CPU cooler. Let's proceed to brush it off to remove all the dust. After cleaning it, I'll reassemble the fan. Then, it's the GPU's turn to get cleaned. We just need to remove all of the screws. Remember to unplug all the cables. And then after removing the heatsink, we can proceed on cleaning the PCB. The thermal paste has become cement, it's really hard to remove. But luckily, with some help of alcohol and uh, cotton buds, it was a little bit easier. And after the PCB, let's clean the heatsink. Luckily, this graphics card was fairly easy to disassemble. Then let's clean the fence and the shroud. And let's be generous with the thermal paste. And after that, we can proceed on reassembling the graphics card. And the graphics card is done. Let's clean the storage. And after that, we can clean the fans. Then it's the dusty filter's turn to be cleaned. Finally, it's the case time to be cleaned. And the cleaning is done. I just brushed the PSU a little bit. I didn't open it. It's really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Never open a power supply because there are capacitors that have enough charge to kill a person. So be careful guys. And after that being said, let's proceed with the reassembly. I hope you enjoy. Let's add some thermal paste. Maybe it's a bit too much but it's better than less. And when installing the CPU cooler, always tighten it up in a diagonal way. So the force can be applied equally on the heat spreader. Then 
let's connect the CPU fan cable. Then let's install the RAMs. Then, after that, let's put the motherboard inside the case and screw it. Then, let's install the fans. Then, let's put the power supply inside. And then, the drives. Then, after doing some cable management, we can install the GTX 1060GB now in the system. And that's it, the computer is done. I did the best that I can do with the time and the tools I had. I could have killed it better with enough time and better tools maybe but for now this will suffice and let's see if the cleaning and the storage upgrade has fixed the problems let's start with Cinebench R23 before running this test we'll turn off the computer it got to around 80 degrees and let's see how hot it will get right now And the temperature seems to be stabilizing at around 75-76 degrees. That's pretty good for a stock cooler. And meanwhile, in Fortnite, both the GPU and the CPU has a decrease of 8 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty good in my opinion. I deem this uh, cleanup a success. And here are some before and after photos. And upgrading the SSD to MX500 1TB has fixed the problems with lagging. And the boot times is actually a lot faster now. And everything seems to be fixed. And that's done. Thanks for watching the video everybody. I appreciate your support. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Subscribe to not miss the upcoming tech videos. Leave a comment because it helps with the algorithm. Just if you want to. If you have questions or suggestions or anything, just type it in the comments. I will reply when possible. I appreciate all of you viewers of this channel. Take care and stay strong. Always be kind to each other and make peace, not war.